Hello and a very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we are solving a to the power 4 plus the reciprocal of a to the power 4 is equal to 23. So maybe pause the video and try it yourself and let me know how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So let's get started. As we have a to the power 4, we're going to convert that into a combination of a to the power of 2, all to the power of 2 with the power rule. So let's do that above and below. Now, as we have the same number above and below, we're going to complete the square. So first of all, we will go with a to the power of 2 plus 1 over a to the power of 2, all to the power of 2. We're going to plus in a 2 now on either side. 23 plus 2. To complete the square, we need to focus on the in term here. And we would ideally like to have a a squared and also a 1 over a squared. So if we write a new version where we complete the square as we have 2 multiplied by a squared multiplied by 1 over a squared and that's equal to 25 but remember this is equal to 1 we can recall the popular expression and we can see that a plus b all to be squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So let's apply this below. So the elements are a squared plus 1 over a squared all to be squared. Let's square root that. And let's square root the 23 plus 2. And that's the square root of 25. And now this is ideal as we can solve by square rooting both sides. Then we will have a value of plus or minus 5 as the square root of 25. But as it's a squared and the reciprocal of a squared, we will go with the positive 5 as the result. Similarly to the first round, we're going to add in a plus 2 again on either side. So this will complete the square again. And we can write a plus 1 over a all to be squared is equal to 7. And we can square root both sides and get a plus 1 over a all to be squared is equal to the square root with the plus or minus and the 7. In this case, we are going to leave the plus or minus with the square root 7, as we will have multiple options. But in this format, now we need to multiply across the board by a, as we will get a squared plus or minus the square root of 7a and a over a, which is 1. Now remember, this is quadratic format. And we're going to solve this. Here I have arranged the quadratic formula. And you can see that we have coefficients of 1 for the a. Plus or minus square root 7 for the b. And for the number co is going to be plus 1. So plug them into your formula. And we will get plus or minus the square root of 7 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, the square root of 7 squared minus 4 by 1 by 1, ac, over 2a, 2 by 1. As we have different combinations of positive and negative results. So in that case, we're going to calculate out every one. And we're going to put them back into our original problem, just to check each solution. Now, if I substitute in plus and plus for the 
sines of these radicals, then I will get 23. So this one checks out. So the plus and the plus checks out. Let's check the others. If we substitute and check all values, check out. So the plus or minus will all give us a result of 23. Thus our solutions are A1, A2, A3 and A4 are all versions of plus and minus 7, square root 7, plus and minus square root 3, all over 2. And there's our full set of answers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon on the next exciting maths video.